Hey there, handsome. Hi. Well, here's someone new. What can I do for you, pretty face? I wanted to know who this earring belongs to. Oh, this really isn't my day. Show me, pretty face. Uh, mm. Given the way it shines, it must be a piece of junk. It probably belongs to one of the girls. It's really their style. I didn't want to assume. Well, if that's all that you're here for, I'd rather get back to the grind. I mean, I didn't want to assume that an earring was for a girl just because. You look sweet. There are too many of you for me alone, my little lambs. Uh -huh. Sorry, madam, but we're here to ask other favors of you. This question might seem a little surprising, but do you know who this earring might belong to? Why? It's mine. Oh, good. Jackpot. I lost it when. How did you get hold of it? Are you sure you want to broach that subject here? You're right. Come with me. Well, what do you want? Why are you giving me back my earring? How dare you, you return know my belongings? You found it, don't you? Obviously. I realized as soon as I got back that I'd lost it. I imagine your pimp does not know that you take part in these parties. He doesn't dabble in this at all? No. Do not say anything to him, I beg you. He's on my case enough as it is. Then I suggest you answer my questions. <sighs> what would you like to know? Um... Could you tell us who you saw at the parties? Rich people, or better. They seemed very rich and important to me. But I don't know them. Okay. Do you know who organizes these parties? Not really, no. A steward pays me when I go, but I don't see anyone else, apart from the clients. You can't even give me a single name. No. The only person who sometimes speaks to this steward is a woman who is always wearing a green coat. She never takes part in the festivities, but the steward rushes over whenever she arrives. Hmm. Do you think that an important person from Teleme could have partaken in these soirees? You're thinking of Mother Cardinal, aren't you? You lot really think we are a bunch of degenerates. You're hardly a shining example of virtue, my child. What? Just answer our questions. Just because, just because Sorry, she's Father, a prostitute? I don't know the Mother Cardinal. But I strongly doubt she dabbles in that. You don't think you could recognize her and you don't think you've crossed paths. What a testimony. That's a bit judgy there, Petrus. It, it, it seems like Petrus is saying that just because she's a prostitute that she's a degenerate, which I think is really, really silly. Talk about the woman in the green coat. Try to learn a bit more about her. Speak about candy cane. Yeah, let's use Admit it, you must know more than you're letting on. It's virtually impossible not to recognize someone while being so close to these influential people, wouldn't you agree? Well, I was able to recognize someone once. Even with a mask on, I'm good at recognizing my clients. Please continue. I'm all ears. I don't want to implicate anyone, but he is of no real importance, and you've probably never even heard of him. It's the local moneylender. Ah. I know very well who you're referring to, my dear. But I didn't mention anything to you, huh? This stays between us. I don't even remember the subject of this conversation anymore. Speak about Candy Cane. Do you know someone who goes by the name of Candy Cane? Everyone does. Really? He's a powerful person. So it is a boy. So his name makes the rounds. Have you ever spotted him at these pleasure parties? In all honesty, I wouldn't even be able to recognize him. I've heard his name before, but that's all. Interesting. This woman in the green coat, could you tell me about her? She always hides her face and never joins us. Then she disappears into a little office and locks the door. I see. She is quite important then. Thank you for your help. Be sure not to mention this to anyone. I'd lose my clients if they suspected me of speaking about them, you know. Okay, great. So we got some good information from her. I think I'm gonna go to the money lender next. Question. Although it looks like the game wants me to question the innkeeper first. All right. Well, we'll see. Let's go, boys. We got what we needed.
We need to question the innkeeper. All right. Can I get you anything? I'm here for something else. Can I ask you a couple of questions? If you wish. What would you like to know? What can you tell me about a certain candy cane? Candy cane? Everyone speaks about him or has heard of him, but no one really knows him. And what do they say about Convenient. him? Convenient. Here, nothing. You need to go downstairs for that sort of thing. I already did. To the games room and the brothel. Yes, that's more the kind of place where they'd talk about him. How I'm looking for a woman who comes here. She always wears a long green coat. Yes, I have seen this coat before. But I have no idea who is beneath it, if that's what you're asking. All I know is that I've seen her speaking to a regular, a steward of the palace who comes to place big orders. Always prime choice. I have to go. I will leave you to your work. All right, so now we're off to the money lender. It's a good thing they're all in, they all seem to be in the same building. So that's helpful. Good day. Welcome. You here to wager? To fight? Uh. I imagine that the name Candy Cane rings a bell. Obviously. Even though I would prefer it wasn't the case. He's a sort of organizer. He captures most of the beasts who fight in the arena. Oh. How is that a problem? Apparently, he's fixed a few fights. Mm. These kind of rumors aren't good for my business. Mm. If that's the case, why don't you stop him? He has friends, protectors. Without solid evidence, no one will lift a finger. And the only ones who wanted to speak of his cartel have disappeared. Oh, right. Do you know where I can find him? He often hangs out around the port at night, but I strongly advise you to stay away from the guy. I know how to look after myself. Thanks for the information. How about the woman? I'm looking for someone. A woman wearing a big green coat. Yeah, I know who you mean. She's a good client. She comes in, especially for the big fights, and she has prime information. Do you know where I can find her? No, I don't even know her name. She wouldn't happen to be coming back to collect some winnings, would she? No, and I can't really tell you when she'll show up next. All right, all right. I must be going. Next time, then. All right. Now we're going to go to the money lender. Question the money lender, Magpie. Which way am I going? Oh, over there. Magpie money lender. Through here. Make our way this way. And, ah, here we go. Nice. You there. Can I help you? Yes, actually. I have a small favor to ask. You don't look like you need money from me. I'll get straight to the point. I have bad news for you. I know about the... the decadent parties at the palace. I know that you take part in them. What? But, <coughs> what are you talking about? Stop acting all innocent. I have all the evidence I need to incriminate you. Although your reputation isn't spotless, there are others who have a lot more at stake than you. What if I were to spread it around town that you boast about being there? You know what happens when tongues wag too much. That's enough! All right, all right, I'll get the message. What do you want? Tell me about Candy Cane. We're not close, if that's what you want to know. I just know his name like everyone else. <laughs> no, not I, like everyone else. There are some rumors. They say he does his business in the basement of the Coin Tavern. I was just there. What kind of business? Oh, nothing to do with my line of business. He deals in arena fights, which are beyond me. It would appear that you know the Mother Cardinal very well. I know that she borrowed money from you. I even know how much. 
What I want to know is why. <laughs> I have no idea. Do you really think that my clients tell me everything about their lives? Does she still owe you money? No, she always pays me back on time and with interest. Nice. Do you think she's plundering the city funds? Ha! <laughs> if that were the case, the funds would have been depleted long ago. Nah, the money's coming from elsewhere. I would advise you to keep all of this to yourself. <laughs> I, I don't want any trouble. I will be as silent as a stone. So, how do you see things, my child? I think that the usurer is lending money to the Cardinal, and very significant sums at that. With this money, she bets on the arena fights while hiding in a big green coat. Oh. And she also gives large amounts to a certain candy cane. Known for fixing fights. Mm. Not only does our dear Cornelia love betting games, but she also wouldn't think twice about cheating to win. Wow. Maybe he's just giving her advice. How can we prove anything? We can always try asking him. Who knows? Perhaps he will give us an answer. Perhaps. Find and question Candy Cane. Who is back over there? All right. Getting a little lost here. Can I jump this? I can jump this, right? Nice. Oh, I don't want to be here. Protect me in this battle. To my help. Whoops. And death to I didn't. I didn't know this was a forbidden zone. Sorry. Sorry. Uh, we just won't tell Vasco about that. Sorry. My mistake. I took a wrong turn. <laughs> I was just trying to. I was just trying to find. Candy Cane. I'm so sorry. I didn't mean to kill one of your friends, Vasco. Maybe it was a rival of his. I don't know. One can hope. Oh, wait. Wait, wait, wait. In here? Can't go in there. Well, this isn't helpful. Um, find and question candy cane. How do I... I have to go into the house? Um, this is not... How do I... I'm trying to get there. Candy cane... in here? Do I have to go over these? Candy cane is not here. At least not yet. Remember, my child, the bookmaker told us that he hangs around here at night. Right. That's true. You're right. Let's come back later. It was night, and then I ended up getting slowed down by those... It was night, and then I ended up getting slowed down by those, um... Those, uh... Knots people. Alright, I'll be back at night. Oh, more of you punks. I'm trying to find Candy Cane. Are you Candy Cane? Doubtful. Storm. Did you just try to run away from me? Oh, is that Candy Cane there? That ran away. Is that Candy Cane? Oh no, that's a worker. You don't have an actual name, sir.
This is where... Oh, there he is. You. Good evening. Are you the one they call Candy Cane? Who are you? De Sade, legate of the merchant congregation. A legate, no less. I imagine in these cases, the one accompanying you is the famous Petrus. You seem to Venus. be very well informed. Therefore, you might be able to answer my question. What do you know about a woman in a green coat? Why would I tell you? We know that you have business with this woman, and that she is actually the Mother Cardinal. How did you... <gasps> You'd be better off forgetting that. That's not oh. exactly the response I'd imagined. But nevertheless, seems rather eloquent. I told you to forget about it. Or you'll soon run into trouble. Legget or no legget. Come on, Bring it, it was on. just an innocent little conversation. Goodbye, Mr. Kane. Bye. And Godspeed. We have enough information. Really? Great. Is the fact that she bets on fights that are potentially fixed enough for you? It's already a huge scandal. Let me just think about it for a little while. I will find a way of putting this information to good use. I have faith in you, Father. Okay. So, Petrus is now nice to us. Nice. So, um, we will continue this mission, uh, I guess, later. Talk to Fa Trouble in Eden, Kurt's Quest. Talk to Father Eustinius, Eustit. The Origins of Teleme. Might as well take a look at this while we're here. Amongst the ghosts. We will talk to Kurt, but momentarily. Um, we want to go to... Oh, we have to go travel for that. Okay. I'll loot this first. Out of the way. Out of the way. So dark. Take this, and we want to get to my living quarters, which I think is this way. Yeah. San Matias is a bit harder to navigate compared to some of the other cities. All right, travel. Um, okay, Tier Dob, the Blacklands. Travel to Tier Dob. Let us. Oh, we can talk to Kurt. Yeah, but he's gonna give us this quest. I'm not quite ready to take his quest yet. Just give me a moment, Kurt. Um, yeah, sell these, because that we got from people who attacked us. Officer's boots, which are, uh, okay. I'll keep that for right now. Speak to Kurt. Compose our team. Um, let's take Pestra and Petra Senciora again. The Blacklands. This is a new area. And then this is... Um, 
go to the place demoni demonical cult. Okay. Um. Father Astinius. Travel. All right. Ooh, a lovely windmill. Ooh, these things. Whoa, dodge. Did you see that? Oh, ow. You didn't dodge that one. Or did it? There we go. Dodge! Oh. Alright, my dodging was not that great. Uh, it wasn't that great. Alright. <laughs> I was getting a little too cocky there. I wasn't I wasn't really like interested in casting magic or using a potion. I thought I could just dodge him, but here we'll do a better job this time. Rematch. Now we've got the preemptive strike. What? I was like, what? That happened the last time as well. Out of my way. Nice. This again. Here, magic healing. Heal our friends too. Okay. I would be very embarrassed if that was a repeat of the last of the last time. What an astounding the village place. of Eden. My mother told me about this place. She said that the village was devoured by the houses of the sons. How could their chief accept this? All that's left to do is to find Father Eustinius. Huh. Missionaries' quarters. Hmm. All right, nothing there. Let's talk to Father Eustinia, or I Brother Virgil. If you have questions. Go see Sister Eugenia. She's our supervisor. Eugenia? Okay. I'm sorry. I don't have time to talk. You might later. I'm sure that the plot will loosen your lips eventually. So I'll just come back then. Hmm. Uh, there he is. Welcome to Eden, the lighthouse of faith, harmony, and civilization in these wild lands. Thank you. De Sade, I'm the legate of the merchant congregation. And I am Father Eustinius. Delighted. And what may I do for you? The Mother Cardinal has asked me to investigate the theft of these tablets you discovered. That's excellent news. The loss of the tablets is a catastrophe. We have to find them at all costs. If you want to learn more about these tablets, you should go ask Sister Eugenia. She I was just the there. theologians who discovered them and were also guarding them. You should find her a bit further in the village with her colleagues. Who are the I suspects did. of this theft? The heretical brutes of the village of Vedlug most likely had a hand in this. 
They must have wanted to please the demons they worship by stealing the holy word from us. How could they have mm. learned of the tablet's existence? Uh, perhaps the demons are giving them this power. Unless one of the natives living in the village innocently mentioned them. <laughs> they are so naive. Either way, I am certain that the heretics are involved in this matter. I'm asleep. I'm sure. Goodbye. May you the enlightened are... always keep you in their divine blessing. Not completely. I wonder how my people could accept the priest settling in their home like this. It all seems a bit too convenient. If we find out some information about the history of Eden, maybe we'll change our view on things. The theft of the relic yeah. is probably not a coincidence. Yeah. Learn about the story of Eden. Father, I'm glad to see you, my child. What can I do for you? Can you tell us more about Eden? Tell me about how you created this village. We did not create it from the ground up. It was built around an existing native village. The islanders called it Vigsenegad, which translates to the village of the old sage. Ha, we saw it as a sign. The natives had probably chosen this name in memory of St. Matthias, and everything here fit the description of St. Lucius. The discovery of the tablets proved us right. So we decided to rebuild our Eden here in the spirit of peace and harmony which is described in the scriptures. Why share this village with the natives? To replicate and resume the work of our founder, of course. If he came here and managed to convert the natives, then it is our duty to do the same thing. By living side by side with them, it is much easier for us to pass on our teachings. I mean, he, he isn't wrong. How well do you get along with the natives who live here? Very well, of course. Especially since those who opposed our presence left. Left? They just left. To go where? Oh, to or did you drive villages, them out? I imagine. Does it even matter? Those uh, who yeah. stayed are on the path of enlightenment. Some of their legends mm. must have been about Saint Matthias. That helped to convince them. And mm. how well have neighboring villages welcomed you? With some reluctance, to be perfectly honest. So, we sent them missionaries. There are still frequent conflicts with the village of Vedlug, a highly violent village of heretics. But the other villages, the more peaceful ones, are slowly starting to listen to the sacred word. There are no Onol Manawi and no warriors here either. Did they all leave? Perfect harmony takes time, my child. I have no doubt that one day we will manage to convince your kind to convert. But in the meantime, we must settle for the miracle of great coexistence that this place already represents. Nobody thought we could live side by side with your people. And yet. I mean, I definitely want them, ideally, to live side by side and just agree to disagree and just let themselves coexist but believe their own I'm individual asleep. things. Goodbye. May the enlightened always keep you in their divine That's what blessing. would be... That's what would be the best thing for everybody, I think. If any of the natives truly want to convert, then yeah, let them convert if that is what they want. But if they don't, I mean... I don't know, there's something about this that seems a little fishy. I am busy. If you have questions, go see Sister Eugenia. She's our supervisor learn about the story of Eden. I'm trying to learn the story of Eden. Oh, I want to learn the story of Eden from Do Brother Casparis. you stole the tablets? Some of the village savages helped us during the search. Perhaps they are behind all of this. There was a particular woman who seemed to want us to be there. I don't remember her name, though. Really now? Hmm. I am busy. If you have questions, go see Sister Eugenia. 